before the iPad, they have no idea that the technology existed. It's pretty instamatic. It's easy to work. iPad's a, a, a whole new experience for me. My name is Mary Ann, and I work at the uh, National MS Society in uh, the Southern California uh, Nevada chapter. I also do some work at Hillcrest Care Center. The iPad program was about using certain applications to help them with um, cognitive uh, challenges that they face and things that just keep them connected. We had a person come out and train us one-on-one. -on -one. When they first move in here, they're really quite lonely and experience a lot of depression. Once they're able to connect with their families through the iPad, um, there's not so much of that anymore. I'm in the process of learning more about this Skype so I can communicate with my grandchildren. They live in New York, I live here, but I can have them here. Um, there's days that they just want to play the apps all day long. Yeah, I hate to say it, I've sound juvenile, farts for free. That's my favorite, and my second favorite is MSNBC. My favorite iPad app is either Solitaire or Angry Bird. I guess it kind of spreads, you know, they'll see somebody playing around with it and then they go, oh, you know, what is that? They seem to be very excited. I think it's crazy how the Can You Hear Me Now has turned into the Can You See Me Now and you're moving the thing all over. Hi, Eleanor. I love to see my family. I'm the kind of guy who loves talking. It's like you're there in person, and that's what I love about it. It's one thing to talk on the phone, but when you can get um, family members um, and see their faces. It's just a way closer connection. It's metaphorically gotten me out of the wheelchair. Is exponential at that point, so much you can do. It's opened up a lot of things for me.